All right, guys, the for each loop. The for each loop is a loop that eases the traversal over an iterable data set. An array is an example of an iterable data set. Suppose we're using a standard for loop, and I have this array of strings named students. We have SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. Using a standard for loop, I would need three statements. An index, a condition, then we could increment or decrement our index. This does work, but there is another way of writing this using a for each loop. There's less syntax than a typical for loop, but it's less flexible. Using a for loop, we can go forwards, backwards, or even skip iterations of something we're iterating over. Using a for each loop, we start at the beginning and go to the end. There's less flexibility. So let's change this to a for each loop. First, we'll add the data type of what we're iterating over. We're iterating over strings. Then we'll need a name for the current element that we're on. We have an array of students. Let's name the current element student, colon, then our iterable data set, which would be our array. String student, colon, students. During each iteration, let's display whatever the current element is, which I named student. Then I'll add a new line. And there we go, we have our three students. Then you could change the amount of students if you would like. Let's add Sandy. Now we have SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. Let's try a different example. Let's work with grades this time. These will be of the int data type. Int grades equals, make up some grades. 65, 72, 81, 93, good enough. The data type of what we're iterating over is not a string this time. It is an int, integers. Let's name each element simply grade, colon, the name of my iterable data set, which would be my array, grades. For every grade in grades, let's display each grade. And here are the grades, 65, 72, 81, 93. So that's a for each loop. It's a loop that eases the traversal over an iterable data set. There's less syntax involved in a for each loop, but it's less flexible. If you just need to display the elements of an array, a for each loop would work perfect. So yeah, that's a for each loop, everybody. Your assignment is to post a for each loop in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's the for each loop in C++.